Hi guys, my name is Vinay. In this video, we are going to discuss about ferro cement. So, what is ferro cement? Why ferro cement is used? Properties of ferro cement. Constituents material for ferro cement. Process of ferro cement. Applications of ferro cement. Advantages and disadvantages. These are the concepts we are going to discuss in this video. So don't skip the video, watch till the end. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Vinay. Please subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos. Without wasting more time, let's start a video. So what is ferro cement? Ferro cement is a type of reinforced concrete and also known as composite material made up of closely spaced one or more layers of mesh and cement mortar which is covered entirely. With this we will get a strong reinforced concrete. The inventors of ferro cement are Frenchman Joseph Monnier and Joseph Louis Lambert who constructed a boat with the system in 1848 and later developed by an Italian architect P. L. Navy in 1940. But after defined by ACI American Concrete Institute Committee 549 in 1980, ferro cement became popular. So many research papers have been published in past two decades, which is very significant and which gives ferro cement a boost. So according to ACI, cement motor is reinforced with single or multiple layers of continuous small diameter wire mesh and this motor provides the mass and mesh imparts tensile strength to the structure. So here motor gives the mass and the mesh imparts tensile strength to the structure. Why ferro cement is used? Today we are using RCC in almost every project. But for some structures, we require high crack resistant, high flex resistant, fatigue resistant and more. So for these reasons, the use of ferro cement ensures enhanced elasticity, flexibility strength and resistant to cracking and so on. Also quality of ferro cement works are assured as the material is manufactured by the machinery at the factory and executed at the site in less time means the mesh is manufactured by the machinery at the factory. So here less time is required at the site and the quality is assured because of the mesh is manufactured mostly at the factory and not by the labors. Next properties of ferro cement. Ferro cement is versatile in nature as it can be used in almost every conditions so it is versatile and due to layers of wire mesh and small diameter rods, ferro cement forms thin reinforced concrete structures. Mesh may be metal or any other suitable material. Instead of concrete, we use Portland cement motor for the construction. Here the strength of the structure mainly depends on two major factors. The quality of cement paste and quantity of reinforced materials used for the construction. Ferro cement is very durable, cheap and versatile material. Next, constituent materials. Here we use mainly two materials that is cement motor mix and reinforcement. So cement motor mix, OPC and fine aggregate matrix is used for the construction. Fine aggregate constituents 60 to 70 percent of the motor. Admixtures and super plasterizers are also used. Next reinforcement. Two types of reinforcement are used for ferro cement. Skeleton steel, it is made up of 3 to 8 mm diameter rods and spacing is given as 70 to 100 mm. The size of the skeleton steel frame is kept as per the structure dimensions. So here steel mesh reinforcement or fiber reinforced polymer meshes are also used. The mesh is made up of 0.5 to 1.5 mm diameter galvanized wire and these are welded at a spacing of 6 to 20 mm from center to center. 
so different types of wire meshes used in the construction are they are square woven wire mesh square welded wire mesh hexagonal wire mesh expanded metal lath so these are the different types of wire meshes used in the construction so these are the constituents material used in the ferro cement and next we'll discuss applications and process of ferro cement so first we'll discuss process so first we'll do fabricating the skeletal framing system then we'll applying the rods and meshes then we'll plaster the material then curing so this is the process of ferro cement and next applications these are used in the housing marine agricultural rural energy and anti corrosive membrane treatment and other miscellaneous works so these are the main applications and process and next advantages of ferro cement basic raw materials are available in almost every country so ferro cement is fabricated into any desired shape and less labor skills are required for placing at the site it is easily constructed low weight and long time due to the less weight of ferro cement the structure weight is less and this reduces the foundation cost ferro cement is mostly suitable for precast components so your precast components are prefabricated components which are prepared prior to the construction at the site so these are constructed at the factory and brought to the site conditions and erected at the site so i already made a video about this topic i will give a link in the description and also in the i button please go and watch low construction material cost the material cost will be less in this ferro cement construction and these are resistant against earthquake forces we know earthquake forces are the major part in the destruction of any structure so these ferro cement are resistant against earthquake forces so you can expect better structure from ferro cement next disadvantages of ferro cement so structures made of ferro cement can be punctured by collision with pointed objects so here pointed objects means which are sharp enough and collided perpendicular to the surface of the object incomplete coverage of mortar can result in rusting or corrosion of reinforcement so here the mortar should be placed correctly because if reinforcement is exposed to the environment then rusting or corrosion will occur and the structure will collapse next large number of labors are required and the cost of labor is high for semi skilled and unskilled labors so here most of the labors are semi skilled and unskilled labors but the large number of labors are required so the cost will be more in this construction process tying rods and mesh together is very tedious and time consuming so with this video we learned about what is ferro cement why ferro cement is used and what are the applications what is the process and what are the advantages and disadvantages of ferro cement i hope you like the video if you like our video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos thank you see you in the next video